You're listening to the Potaholics Comedy Network. Potaholics.com. This episode of the Setup Podcast is going to be uh, featuring Nolan, Anthony, and Alex breaking down PJ Ladd's <laughs> A Wonderful, Horrible Life, my favorite skate part um, of all time. And uh, this is kind of what we're going to do sometimes when we don't have Beast Pro guests like a Nick Merlino or a. Uh, or the founder and, and godfather of skateboarding himself, Matt Ward, uh, and the, 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 the creator of Element Skateboards, I believe is his official title. I got a lot of shit from Anthony, or from Alex, because uh, he's not the team manager, apparently, and I said he's the team manager know, dozens of times. <laughs> Isn't that right, Alex? Alex is here with me doing this intro. Uh, so, hey, thanks for joining us. For this episode, if you want to, there's going to be a YouTube video where we you can watch the part with us as we're like talking about it and uh, breaking it down, and or you can just listen and maybe watch the part later, and then you'll you'll know what we're talking about. If you haven't watched this part and you're a skateboarder, then get the stop listening and, and fucking be better because <laughs> this is one of the best parts of all time, no doubt about it. We talk about that. Uh, this is where I like to take the time to plug all the things. You like the podcast? I know you do. That's why you're listening. Why don't you do me a favor? Go subscribe in iTunes. Rate. Say a few nice things. Or if you've got some, some suggestions, some helpful tips as to how you believe that we can get better, feel free to comment in the iTunes and we'll ignore them. Uh, we don't, we don't give a fuck. And, um, but you, subscribe in YouTube. And no, that's not true. Your voice will be heard. And subscribe on YouTube dot com slash it's a bunch of letters and i'll put the link in the description but just look up type in youtube the setup podcast and then type in nolan or anthony or alex and then you'll find it that way and then subscribe it really helps facebook like it patreon visit feel free to donate if you feel like it i've said this before i like running it back again and uh check out the potaholics network as i say often because they're really cool and they're, they're putting us on their network and it's getting us a ton of people listening that may not have. So check out their other content. They got a lot of good podcasts on potaholics.com. And uh, you got anything to say, Al? Nope, you cleared it. Great. Yeah, I'm drunk. Sorry. Are you drunk? Yeah. You're hammered, bro. Dude, don't. Stop. Dude. Fuck. <laughs> Stop. Ah! Oh! Dude. Oh, did that puke on you, bro? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm covered in your vomit. What kind of question yeah, is you that? You want a towel or are you good? No, I'm good, dude. It'll dry off. Alright. Peace. Welcome everybody to the set of podcasts with Norman Anthony and Alan. <laughs> Real talking, you know, when, when they you don't know you're being recorded, then it's a little different, I guess. I think it's almost better. Really? Well, maybe well, not now. In certain ways, it's better, but I'm talking yeah. about like in terms of enjoyment, I don't tend to like it at all. Mm. But I thought I thought I was a really good singer when I was a kid until uh, I sang into a recorder, <laughs> and then you were like, "Oh I was fuck, like, oh no, yeah, <laughs> no!" I thought I was good, and I'm singing <laughs> in front of these people, and they're not telling me I suck. Dude, I still think I'm a good singer. So do I. Deep down, you just gotta sing slightly in front I think of people. That the di- yeah, kind of, kind of break it out as and if. It, oh, and it, oh, you were listening. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I guess I. But like, if it's enjoyable, then they want to do it too. Okay. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll like, in, well, you know, be, me and me and my buddy, uh, old Joe Cruz, we we had a sing off when we were younger because we both thought we had a good voice. God, you guys have been friends forever. Yeah, when we were in high school. Love that. Oh, yeah, besties. It's like me and Justin. Do you guys jerk each other off? After have this we? Me and Justin do, but yeah. go ahead. He was asking you. Foot jobs. Foot jobs all FJs, day. FJs. FJs. So we, that's what we day. refer to them as. No. Man, I hate hand jobs. No, we don't have that kind of uh, fr- dude friendship. We're not like. I'm not one of those dudes that likes to make gay jokes and and stick f- his finger up his friend's butts and stuff. Right like through that. the pants, though. I'm never yeah, going yeah. in the pants. I might. Sure. I might scoop under the underwear like I'm going to grasp the buttocks, but yeah. I never commit to that. It's right. It's just the fear, the image in your brain. If you it's ever the do that to me, it's I the will implication. have you arrested. <laughs> It's Good luck disgusting. getting that to stick. This kid's, this kid's as slippery as they get, dude. Officer. 
to the to the to, to the, the class. You know, yada, da, yada, you know da, da, da. the Doo. district attorney, don't you? I do know the district attorney. Fast forward. Shut That's up, Manny, Manny fucking whatever. Santiago. Jesus Christ. Cool. It's your favorite part. It's <sighs> everybody else's favorite part in the history of the world. Are we too. recording? All right. Here's what we're gonna do: Qua- squad, crack squad. I, dude, we have possibly hundreds of people listening to this right now. I'm not trying hundreds? to like brag. Yeah, you think possible. so? Yeah, dude. Like, know, not man. right now. Are you sure? There's only three people. Because this is lo- Well, this we have f- four. We had like our last one. We had 400 page views. That means that people clicked on our page. But we don't know how many people hit play. <laughs> how, how, how can we figure that out? <laughs> we know they're seeing the content. It's like people who sell pants in stores. We know that potentially yes. 500 people are going to see these there pants. Has to, there, the has to be number, there has to be somewhere where we can look up oh, we just gotta Stitcher, ask. iTunes. I think they, I asked them and they didn't tell me yet. Well, it has on YouTube. Yeah. So we got a lot of pressure, dude. Yeah. You know, um, the first few episodes are pretty good. Are we recording? But word came back in that um, I'm not going to tell you. I know. I love you that. You never I, know. No, I love that you didn't tell me it was the best. <laughs> <laughs> you just had that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that little week. Um, yeah, word right. came in. The the, the 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 critics have spoken. We're a successful podcast. We uh, we're t- our demographic is pretty. It's uh, it's mainly um, my our family and a few friends, and uh, oh, that was the inter- that was like that, Richard Sherman. I was yeah. I, I, timed I, I was. Wrong. It's okay. I wanted no, to no, give. Ahead, I wanted I'm to right. give I the, the. I wanted to give Nolan a high five too. Cheeto fingies and Cheeto uh, fingies you, and you, you can wipe your. That's why I have this towel, babe. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah, so the yeah the reviews are positive for the first seven and and uh, and a lot. There's a lot of hope that this is going to continue. That the quality is just going to keep going up <laughs> and not down. And now, we've not even been trying to get guests. Let's be no, real. No, but and let's we have be real. Three mics. Yeah. Tonight. All I need is one though. All we need is one. Really. That's for me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care about your guys. Whether or not you speak or not is not what the people want. Hey, I'm just here for the free beer that yeah, I bought. So I'm, and I am yeah. here for the almonds. <laughs> The Almond Brothers. Mm-hmm. But so mm-hmm. this week, we're going to try something new. <laughs> Almond Brothers. The Alm- Can we tell them about your serendipity? So you were making some horrible pun about jujitsu. Jujitsu. Yeah. Which was hilarious, by the way. Thank when you. I say horrible pun, it was just me trying to be a silly goose. It was so funny. No, it was <laughs> dude, and, funny. Oh, my God. I think and it's funny. It was so good. No, it was good. I mean, it would not, if you repeated be, it, it would be not funny. I but, asked him if an old Jewish man teaches his jujitsu class. Yeah. Which I'd never thought of before, and I was really surprised by that because Thanks. it's so obvious. And if you're a little slow on the obvious. uptake when it comes to comedy, that's a pun. Uh, based on the first word in that in jujitsu, based on judo, P U N pun. Oh, words. that's how you spell that. I yeah. Thought, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a lot of. Oh, yeah. There was a W. In and there then there was kind of a yes and moment where there was a lot of riffing after that, and it, and then all of a sudden, boom, I had it. And uh, I'm not trying to say. <laughs> I don't know if I should, should I laugh into the mic because I feel like no, they can boom, hear that boom. you laugh. Yeah. Wait a second. So you're going <laughs> to, you're going to piss, you're going to piss the best. all over. He plugs himself he so much. He pisses all over my <laughs> jujitsu joke only to fucking just basically add on to my, yeah. okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. To ride on your coattails. Yeah, 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 go, go ahead. ahead whatever. Yeah. Sometimes. I set the foundation. You can yeah. have the fucking, you can have the frame, yeah, you framework yeah, of the you house. You put the fucking roof on. Yeah. You think yeah. you built the house, but go ahead. Right. So yeah, sometimes somebody starts a business and it needs a lot of help and you need kind of a cleanup crew. And I came in. And uh, and I'm I can't. janitor. Right? And I, yeah. Every every Mexican needs a good white guy to clean up after. Exactly, <laughs> dude. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. So I came in with kind of a, a pretty hot riff, and I said, I you know I would have thought it would have been t- t- taught by a, a Jewish dog because I always thought it was called Jushitsu, <laughs> and that crushed. And then, uh, but that's not that's not even the end of the story, man. Then it gets even crazier because uh, Alex goes to Jushitsu like literally 30 minutes later. And what does he see? What does he find? A Shih Tzu. And I'm like, yo, dude, is that a Shih Tzu? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh my <laughs> God, dude. Tzu. Did you say that to and me? He's yeah, I did. I, I took a photo. I was like, I got to send this photo to, to fucking you guys because it was like this shit. Unbelievable. It's weird, man. That, ju- that Shih Tzu's not there all the time too, right? No. It's not like you knew. Yeah. Never. Man. It shouldn't have even been on the mat. Like you could get in trouble for that shit, but. Anyways, Alex, we we talk about how Alex is in the flow state of the universe. That it's weird. The coincidences follow you like, like, like the ladies and they're right? and they're indirect. Co- they're oh, indirect. Uh, um, get that to come back. Oh yeah, get, if I may. Get that shit back. <laughs> Jesus, Yo, bro, turn on the laptop. Hey, can they hear me? Yeah, no. Hey, is Steve Jobs. God, hold on. I didn't want it to come off my screen. <laughs> Why do you have such a cummy screen? Do, do you need a charger too? It? Probably. Well, um, no, nah, I'm at fifty two percent. Save that battery. No, if it's only five minutes. No, it will be. This will unless we talk about this video for like six hours. Oh, are we hitting record on that? Yeah. 
Once once the video starts, let's do it. Okay. So uh, we're about to watch. Um, so I'm going to turn sound wait, wait, off, right? What's this? What's this segment called? You can called? dim it a little this bit. Is, this dim is our newest segment. We I'm gotta, calling it part breakdown. All right. We're introducing our new segment. Until we vote part, that part break, fucking breakdown. Yeah, we can have a vote. Until we vote that shit off. Huh? <laughs> this is Do you want to vote breakdown? it off the island? No, 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 no. Let's keep it. Let's keep it for, for now. now. So I think it's we'll stupid. Let the, well. we'll let the listeners. It's kidding. pretty weak. No, it's no, the no, first no. one I thought of. We'll we'll let the list. It's no jujitsu. If I have to, it fulfills the purpose of words. It we just will, tells you what it is. <laughs> we will let our parents <laughs> let us know. Yeah, through listening. I think my mom could probably riff something better than that. Part breakdown. <laughs> They're our board. That's be so funny. We do a sketch. It's like our parents are the board. The yeah. setup board. I just don't get it. Yeah, what are we doing? I don't get what you're trying Come to on, do. Come on, honey. My laptop's nervous. It's never had to perform before. No. And he's on camera now. <laughs> it does a He's uh, on camera. This is the first time uh, this part, ever happened. C- cart. What cart is wheel, this bullshit? Um, part breakdown. What else could you call it? Part. Part review? Ugh. Review? No, uh, definitely not. Maybe not breakdown. But it, what show it, you would do that? Bro down setup. showdown. Bro down showdown. Um, froyo bro down. How about part fart part farts <laughs> part no. particles part part in this, in this, particles in this part particle in this yeah it's like an article in particle this, in this scarticle mm, but then it's, yeah it's, it's yeah, like scarticle. a fart scarticle. 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 is it a fart particle or a fart article what are we really doing though we're breaking it down right or we're analyzing that's true we're, 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 we're talking about we're it just... i hate analyze no you're right okay you yeah. win Nolan. commentary no too long of a word parmentary no marinating skate marmentary number mm. <laughs> skate marmentary <laughs> skate marmentary <laughs> i think you just cracked it yep code cracked good uh <clears throat> sherlock okay. D's nuts. So, so we're about to break down the greatest skate part in the history of skateboarding. And there's for, first, I want to start by saying there's no debate there. It's not up for debate. It's been decided. Uh, skateboarding. The big thing about skateboarding is there. There is a uh, hierarchy. There's the greatest of all time. That's Tony Hawk. Mark Alpiar. Best. Tony Hawk. Mark Al- Unbe- undeniably the best skateboarder of all time. Across the board. Across the board. In really? Every dimension. Absolutely. Second Tony best Hawk. is probably. Um, <laughs> Whoever the second p- person that you've heard of the most, Rob Deerdick. He's the second best. Bro, if I could throw up in my mouth, I would. Well, yeah, I, I'm just saying right these now? are facts. No, but that's no, 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 no. That's the true. In the vein that you're talking about, are you talking about in like across prolific? the board? You're not talking about skill wise, even though they are very good skaters. I'm saying that third best is Ryan Sheckler, because okay, you got to explain your I, criteria. I can, I can, I because can get, skateboarding is about that. notoriety, not art, mm-hmm. not talent. It's about fame. It's about it's about international success. Well, it's then, what do you think it's about entertainment? What yeah. do you think about this? What do you th- where do you where do you rank Sean White? He's, uh, he's up there. Oh right? my In god! Skateboarding. Did you yeah. see his snowboard final run, bro? I did. That shit was insane. Gave me chills. Yeah, he was insane. But he's, he's and then he stomped also, all over the goddamn American flag, and I threw yeah, my computer. Yeah. Oh, he did. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. I didn't even the see whole that time. Part. The whole Fuck time. He not did in that. my country. The whole not time. In my fucking country. <laughs> Fuck no. You dude. keep that shit in Korea or wherever the fuck it is you're at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The whole time he was doing that, I was well, he was here. But like, I watched that, and I was like, I watched the like. I was like, oh, pick up the flag. Oh God, fucking. Oh, oh Fox News. Oh God, yeah. it's gonna be awful. At least he's a white redhead. Yeah, I know. That's a good right? point. Oh God, how can you imagine if he was? An ethnicity. Oh, he my would be God. Would be <laughs> on the tree. Yeah. All right. Are we going to do this, guys? Uh, so, anyways, but all joking aside, this is the greatest skate part of all time. Now, um, that's debatable. But so keep going. Debatable. Don't get in your fucking very river. Debatable. Yeah. yeah. Let's start out with the debate. Okay. Uh, okay. What's better? Greatest skate parts of Tom all time. Tom Penny's part in the Sorry video. All right. Um, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. It is a great part. part. Watch this. Oh, that's me throwing a thumbs down. Loved it. Yeah. Um, would you say that this was because? Ma- uh, oh, oh, sorry. Maybe we should define best skate park. Like, what's the criteria? What are we? What are we judging this skate park on? Filming most, tricks. Well, there's most, song. I, yeah, I thought of some. innovation. Chill. There's a category called chill. <laughs> oh, I thought you were telling me to chill. No, like, no, you know. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> remain hyped, bro. Because remain stoked. Remain stoked at all times. No, like, you, the you long, nailed it. The longevity of how long people have talked about it after. Yeah, ah, that's In- true. Inspiring. That's true. Mm-hmm. Well, it's also generational. Here's the truth. I'm just being a silly goose. And the, the skate parts, the greatest skate part of all time. Can't no, to defined. you, but absolutely. You know, it's uh, it's depends on the generation you grew up in. So, like when we were coming up, little little Groms, when we were Groms. Which is age thirteen to sixteen ish. Uh, everybody was always talking about like video days was kind of the staple, right. and it was like probably the Gonz's part in video day, yeah. days was the greatest part, or considered the most influential part of the time. Yeah. But then PJ came in. In my opinion, for our generation, 
No, he was he was a uh, game changer. He was a schism for sure. There was a difference, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he. Uh, this was a sh- this is a sh- skate shop video. Shop video. Shop video. All right, let's hit play. Amazing. Okay, PJ Lad, wonderful, horrible life. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't know about. Uh, PJ is that he skates when he's chilling. That's so sick, dude. He skates with weights on his feet. That's how he gets such master uh, flick. Flip, yeah, flick control. Really? Yeah, yeah. Is that wait what? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, he skates with weights. He puts pennies in his uh, socks and uh, quarters in his in the tongue of his shoe. There it is. I and love you can this see, part. That's him trying. That's I was his like, homie. he's just like me. I can be like that. Pause it real quick. Um. I like how that. Here's why it's so great. It's about to be five minutes, right? Because one of the best things about it is it captures, if I may, the spirit of skateboarding. Ugh! Did I just go there? No, you did. But if we're gonna de cliche that term, <laughs> yeah, it provides um, <laughs> some. Very... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Anthony! God damn it! I was there. Okay. If I want to play Anthony, if I want to talk Nolan, yeah. All right. Um. No. Um, no, for sure, especially from like a local skater perspective. Yeah, you he this looks like you know it could have looks been like a somewhere video. in Washington. Absolutely. So it looks like it's got that like raw feel of like check this analogy out. It's got that raw feel of watching Hendrix jam in the beginning because you're like, oh, this is just a chill like video of some dude skating. But then, and then all of a sudden they play the then, national anthem. With and then he's throwing his skateboard. Fucking yeah. dick. Yeah, like this fucking, fucking skateboard dick. On fire. Yeah. But no, the pennies thing is a really interesting thing because a lot of people don't realize that that he would yeah he he was usually skating with roughly five pounds worth of uh, extra weight on his feet to gather flick. That's how. Wow. He, yeah. Wait. Ligament power. In change. Mm-hmm. Change pennies. Just quarters. Yeah. It was often said that you could buy a pair of S's with the amount of change he carried in his. They had. So you know those extra tongues that they would have in the back of some shoes that you would potentially hide your weed in? Yeah. In his shoes, they had uh, these these really big pockets that his mom would sew. Yeah. His mom was a seamstress. I think his dad was like a firefighter or something. They're blue collar. There's a really interesting fact about his parents, too. Mm-hmm. Um, that. But then uh, a lot of people don't realize that his... Um, his uh, so he had a, he had adopted parents. <clears throat> his original his his original he adopted mother, his, his parents, right? No, or wait, that'd be absurd. He, he was a baby, and they oh, they okay. picked him. But he was estranged from his biological mother, who was a skater as well, Christy Yamaguchi, famous uh, figure skater. Mm-hmm. And then now, what gets weird? What gets really interesting is, is later in this part, and we'll see this soon. I know we have it on pause. We haven't gotten very far. We'll see that. Uh, because one of the mysterious things about PJ was his shifty flips. Like, where is this guy? How does he do? How? Right? Where? Or why? Fucking Christy Yama. You, you can see that when you really look at, at at that. Oh, okay. He came from a figure skater uh, lineage. There's an there's a there's an elegance to it, and I'm you know you'll see it when you. It'll make sense when you watch you. Uh-huh. Like, you no. like, now that I'm now that I'm like thinking back about it, I right. yeah I can see where that would be a thing. For you didn't sure. know at the time. You're like, there is something. Yeah, there's something. You know. Uh huh. And uh. Anyways, let's hit, oh, geez. let's hit play here. And uh, I love this line, though, for real. Kickflip in, frontside 360. And this is just me bragging a little bit on how many times I've watched this. Kickflip in, frontside 360 off. And then just the best frontside flip that I, uh, on VHS, rewound over and over and over again to get my uh, pristine frontside flips that you wow. often compliment. Yeah. And spoiler alert. But am no, I right? No one has this really is good a bit frontside of, that flips. Was, yeah, you're right. That was a spoiler alert. That's my bad. And but let's just make sure I'm right. One hundred percent. Oh, tray flip, then front side flip. Mm, so, but mm, just raw street skating. Like, let's just film some shit and see what. And that's it. Mm. Here it comes. Here's the Yamaguchi flip. There it is. See that? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. That was a sick tray flip. No one does tray flips like those anymore. Nope. Nolly flip, just chilling. Beanie out the back of the pocket. Oh. Shout out to Aaron Camp because he had that style all day. Is that Aaron Camp? Mm, he looked. It's funny because it actually looks like Aaron Camp. He used to skate with that same it's, chill it's with the baggy pants. It's weird because right there he just looks like he's just like, oh, dear, so this chilling. He's right just down. fucking yeah. around. Yeah. That's why it's Hendrix jamming because he's he's fucking around. He's riffing. He's a generational talent. He's going through his scales. Yeah. He's like he's exactly. Like, this is scales right here. He's Pressure like, flips. Like Miles Davis. This is uh, playing. Uh, this is playing. Music with your guitar with your teeth right there. Pressure flips. Mediocre analogy. We'll move on. Yeah. 
I'm curious to see how many tricks stand the test of time. So like many? You wouldn't be. Well, how about this one? That oh, you really know how you see that every day these days? Oh, wait, you, well, you don't. You, well, you're you seeing, <laughs> you're seeing <laughs> front foot flips a lot. If Let's you guys go back. Actually watch skateboarding. You After know. the nose slide, though? But um, Out of a nose slide? No. Oh, dude, can I say something real quick? This you may. Kind of, this is kind of a tangent. You know the ledge at the NoHo Park that is a mani pad that comes off the big drop by the double set? Yeah, I like that. A dude, I want to say it was Forrest Griffin from Zero, and I wish I would have talked to him, but I didn't. He no slid that from flat. Oh, damn, really? Yes, dude. Up to the top of that? Yes, and he was he was almost 50-50 in it, but he no-slid it first try, bro. No I mean, that's shit, probably dude. five feet. Oh, no, no, it's not five feet. No, it's not f- four, four-ish? Four, four and, and a half. half feet for sure. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, but, I can't even ollie up that. But anyways, I was like, wait, what the fuck? Can you ollie up that? Not that, not the high yeah. part, but the yeah, I can ollie up step that. down. You can, yeah, ollie up you can ollie up that too. I mean, I can like 180. You 180 up it. I'll 180 up it. Yeah, it's a little different. You got the hops for it. But real quick, though. Uh, I was thinking about, I think this part, I don't think skateboarding caught up to this part for about eight years, nine years. It's caught up now. You can, like, you can right, watch skateboarding yeah. now and it's caught up. Yeah, he was, PJ was, but I think it took like eight years. Best. Yeah. Especially ledge skating. Well, yeah. oh, this absolutely. Was early, just early. Like the raw techness of it. Mm-hmm. Raw techness. Raw tech. He had to get a techness shot for yeah. this one. In his arm. And then go with Six. Six. And here's a Yamaguchi and, flip. And he's skating fast, too. He's not doing this shit all fucking slow. It's all lazy, chill-like. Uh, and then, you know, sadly, unfortunately. See, the kids these days might not even realize. They might remember PJ as that dude that didn't have a part in the Plan B video. Plan B video. Right? But we remember him as the groundbreaking skater that uh, birthed a generation of tech savants. He didn't have a part in the Plan B video? No, you remember that? I'm pretty sure he did. Mm, but maybe I'm wrong. But. No, the true video? No, it's kind of like a, oh, he tells it a mini yeah, real quick. Yeah, I was going to say that that was so dope. <laughs> that was a good one, switch and tray. then a switch tray right after, and then this no big oh, deal. Read it out. I, Watch this Yamaguchi. You see it there? That's yeah. the ice skating hair. No, he, he does do a lot of Yamaguchi. Yeah, and here's another one. Uh, Dude. Right? Wow, so you do have this part memorized. Yeah, yeah he Gucci's this Yami. Yeah, so this, this was a huge part for you, Nolan, right? Oh, this is a game changer for me, yeah. man. I watched this part. Every time I wanted to skate, I would watch this part. Yeah. So, see, my, I guess my PJ lad. Watch the hand. I want to go back real quick. My PJ lad would be Tony T, Tony Trujillo. Sure. I definitely try to emulate part of his style just because the way he skated, like, all fast and shit. All right. Right here, and then we'll yeah. pause. Watch this back back arm here. Talk about, like, talk about chill ha- chill oh. hands. Pre-Dixon chill hands. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'm not even going to put it up, dude. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he didn't even move. With my move. whiteness, I'm white as he fuck. He didn't move. PJ Lad is so white, dude. Yeah, dude, th- that was more chill than apples. More Wait. chills than than uh, than Dixon. Yeah, man, I I watched this thing constantly, nonstop. It was it was pure inspiration. I wonder what it would be like if you're like a younger kid now, if you can watch that video, this video, and still feel that. Because I think that the energy from it remains. Yeah, it doesn't matter like it, how long it's. I feel been. like if you're a real skater and you really like skateboarding for sure, because I can still watch videos from like Pal Peralta. Yeah. And, and get hyped and though. And shit. I Fuck can watch yeah. it and like it, but it doesn't Dude. doesn't make me want to go skate like this. Have you seen just because it's not my style? Right, you know no, 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 absolutely. But have you seen footage of like um, Christian Osoy doing backside airs on a half pipe? Yeah, I definitely have. Steezy as fuck, just mm-hmm. boosted. Well, Osoy was a gangster, dude. Gangster. Oh, yeah, Steez. dude. Raw power. Style before tricks for me. That's yeah. what I believe. <laughs> Tight short shorts. Tight, the tightest. Tight Nuts sack. Yeah. Bulging. Tan, thick quad legs. I hate skateboarding in shorts. Yeah. It's yeah. My, my there's a, there's a discomfort there. You have to, it takes some getting used to. I always just feel like my shins aren't protected, even though there's no real difference if a board's going to whack you in yeah, the shin. Yeah, there really isn't. No. Uh, but yeah, Trujillo was the same, but you're, kind of, you're more of a uh, transition dude. Well, I'm more of a... I mean, I don't want to say you're a transition training. guy. You're training. But I'm more of a, a park skater. I would say. Mm, bowl ripper. No. No, skate park skater. Yeah. With like ramps and shit. I think the whole, I, I could do this. I skate everything though. So if you want to come at me and play a game of skate. Yeah, I, feel I fucks, free. I fucks with you, dog. Dude's wearing except, a bandana right except now. Except Nick Merlino. I didn't play him skate because my ankle was fucked, bro, but you best believe. Yeah, he have fucked him up. I'd have fucked him up. And Nolan would have fucked him up. Nolan deserves a rematch because 
Yeah. I froze. I've, we, you and I play skate all the time, and it was just like, no, no, no. Yeah. This is just an anomaly. It's one of those days. Yeah, I looked yeah. like I had just started skating that day. I don't know what happened. I froze is what happened. I saw Honestly, I didn't you rise. Looked, you looked limber. You looked good. You looked like you were ready to compete. Me? Well, well that yeah. front side flip starts. And the thing is that that That's front right. side flip starts it off sick. Yeah, I know. Fuck, man. I thought I was like, damn, I think I might have a chance after that front yeah, side flip. That was good. And then he came out with that whack ass front side flip after he had already boosted 140 feet in the air. Yeah. And then uh, I got into it and I just couldn't, I couldn't flick, man. The shit wasn't landing right. I couldn't fake you, Trey. That's when I knew something was up. I yeah. said, uh oh, no one. Yeah. What kind of hot water are you in? Because yeah. I can't fake you, Trey. <laughs> Get out of here. I can't, you know. And I've seen you cruise just <laughs> boop. Yep, just boop. do it. Yeah, dude. I saw you do like a nollie flip the other day, like perfect yeah. first try. Yeah. Yeah. No warm up. No warm. Yeah, but I uh, froze. I, I think that unfortunately, you know, I, I wasn't ready for the moment, the pressure of the moment. You know? Yeah. It's good. That was a learning experience, man. Yeah. I felt that. Yeah. Obviously, you I best love. believe we're going to keep playing games of skate. And I was thinking our next pro that we interview, mm-hmm. tag team game of skate, where it's like, if I can do the trick better, yeah. I, I'd do it. If what you do they call that? It's like on the barracks. It's like for the, the Legion or whatever. They do something like that. Oh, do they really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Where it's like Costin versus the Legion. Yeah. Oh, and so they just pick a guy. Yeah. Like, oh. If it's like switch back three. No, that's good. They'll be so, like, hey, Jeff. So then it would be <laughs> them versus us. So uh-huh. it's like Nick Merlino versus the setup podcast mm-hmm. instead of just Nolan Gover. Which, what trick do you think you could be able to contribute in a Legion? Of, kind of a 180. <laughs> He's talking <laughs> to Anthony, by the <laughs> way. I can, do, I can do that that, uh, that cab, cab 360 thing. Oh, that's cab? right. That fakey, that fakey frontside cab. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Can you do half cab kickflips? I was just like imagining you doing those the other day. Yeah, I can do those. Okay, cool. I've done one I feel like you might have a ago. weird one under your belt, though. Like kind of like uh, Casper maybe flip. like a frontside shove it or something weird. I call that weird just because I, I can't know. land it. I do frontside shove it. That's a you fundamental front shove trick, bro. Not regular, ways, not yeah. pop shove it. Front I shove it both ways. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You go both ways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You big spin. <clears throat> you can big spin. Mm-hmm. Fake really? big spin or regular big spin. Fake big spin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because regular big spins are like. I almost landed regular big spin though. You did. That was very close. What was weird is I couldn't land any trick that I can land, but then on defense I was almost landing tricks I can't land. Switch yeah, frontside switch threes, front three. big spins, stuff like mm-hmm. that. But all for not. I mean, I lost E to S. Uh, you know, and I got a, I got a letter on the dude. I mean, no, you had you a, you had R. two T's, bro. <laughs> I was gonna say, you, you had you two lost, T's. You, you, you got skatered, didn't you? Yeah, he got uh, skatered. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he even gave me mercy too on like a nolly big 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 flip, dude. Nolly big flip that he landed, and there was no heel touch. He said there, there was, was heel no touch, no. I kept none. watching the video, and I was like, this, "Okay, I just got to delete this because this doesn't make sense." Yeah, <laughs> the dude was just having mercy on me. Yeah, you could see the fear in my eyes. Yeah, fuck. And it's funny when you guys did Rochambeau. It's just like. You go first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Especially because I took I ate shit like right before that. Ooh, yeah, Boy, dude. Swobo. My elbow still hurts. Dude, that my, was a gnarly swallow. I was looking speed. at that um, footage, and I think what had happened was, uh, other than banging the the bow and getting that golf ball elbow, mm-hmm. I also I think I kind of hyperextended my elbow. Uh oh. Yeah, because if you look closely, it kind of looks like that elbow is reaching that reaching that tension mm. point when you r- r- throw it down all locked. Yeah, that happens locked. to me all the time in jujitsu. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so still right now, like it's kind of like if I bend it weird or lift a bag, if I'm going to lift, a, you know, some sort of grocery bag, I oh, might yeah. uh, f- feel a little bit of pain. Yeah, I can imagine that would be terrible for your wife. Heel flip 180. That was sick. Heel flip 5 180. Oh, this, kick flip this up is some sick. Egg then thing. that ghetto bird. Yeah. See, he was doing tricks that are like kind of a thing now that they weren't really a thing back then. Get- Ghetto Birds being one of them, although Kareem was all about him. Yeah, sure. Ooh, Ledge Trick Mania. I'd say he ushered in the era of Ledge Trick Madness. No, he definitely took it to a new level. May we? May we. May we, we may. make that statement? You may. Although, Costin, if you watch 90, 90s Costin, he was Ledge Trick Nasty. Uh, Same with Embarcadero shit. If you watch old like Henry Sanchez and Mike Carroll, they were doing some goofy shit on Ledges. Yeah. So you're like, damn, back then? Like How about that front side yeah. flip? Ooh, it was switch, wasn't it? Yeah, that was sick. No, that was that was sick. Flip. This one always blew me away. Oh yeah, it's not that. You crazy never now that people do that, that all the time. And that. But they do it front side. Yeah, that trick was unbelievable back then. It's Wait. a big back then thing. Oh, the blunt to no back side. Oh, well, that. they all are. Well, yeah, for that for that matter. But this game changer. A jack. Oh, oh. Front side flip. Now, yarp. What? <laughs> yarp. Dude, a physical yarp. reaction switch crookies. Switch trees, perfection. He has a different energy yeah. to his skating too in this that's There's been so well much. documented. Yeah, and he's he's lost his like kind of like he rage. Lost it. He lost it's like it. the speed, you know, yep. the aggressiveness. There's kind of a like I'm f- oh here it is. That was oh regular front side three regular. This is my favorite line. Heel. Ooh. Oh my god. Full cap bigger. And then uh oh. 
No big deal. He's like, fuck you guys. I'm so good. Switch back heel. And then watch him just be like, you know what? This is the best shot right here. On to the next. That's the best shot oh, right there. Let's high five just because I feel shot. good about it. Pro I can't five. believe we just finished. Cheeto fingies. I can't believe we just finished that video. Is that, that was really it? It's well, only five watch minutes. It let's watch it again. I keep reminiscing about it. Mm-hmm. Dissect. Um, I love the song Pulp. It's called Like a Friend. Uh, fan, a band called Pulp that I don't know anything about them. Uh -huh. Other than that, this song is sick. Well, it's that's a song. Oh, and there's this, the, there's this too. There is a song in this video? There's, yeah. Like a Friend by Pulp. Oh, I didn't know. And that. it builds with his skateboarding. But remember in the flip video, he had Silence is Golden? Mm hmm. That was sick. I like that. Yeah. Uh, um, so I was going to say that there's an interesting thing about this song. All right. I, I, this is going to get crazy. All right. Like a friend, if you watch the lyrics, the song is about like an addictive love, an addictive relationship that is destructive, but you can't, uh, you can't resist it. You keep coming back for more. If you listen to the lyrics, that's what it's about. I, you can keep coming back and destroying because I'll always say yes, right? And I would say that that's kind of a good analogy for the part in general. This part is addictive. I'm always wanting to come back for more, and he's constantly destroying. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can, can I, can what? What was the question? I said, I like watching one of her ramp and do pressure flips. Cause that's, cause that's what he was just doing. Oh, okay. There on the video. Right. No, no. Yeah, see, people don't do that. Yeah, they do. People, Not with the front foot, though, right? Yes, they do. Now, you guys, like 10 you guys, years later. Yeah. This is in 2002. That was, that was, you, oh, two. you said, I know, but you said no one does that now. But even out of a nose slide, it's rare, bruh. Bro, I'm a, if I find a ten, front foot kick flip it, out of a nose slide. Yes, if I find ten clips of a front foot kick, you think flip you can find ten? I think I can find twelve. Uh, Not just a front foot kick flip. I think we have an, another segment for. Not a crooked grind, bro. A nose slide. Nose slide front front foot kick flip. Yeah. You think you can do that? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> You just get on Instagram and just like no slide front flip out. I'm just like, gonna post a another. Contest. I'm gonna post a contest on Instagram. Uh, I have a confession to make. Confess. I made up, and I, it's basically every single fact that I've had about PJ so far. I made up. Um, I had a feeling. Yeah. 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 Okay. I just wanted to impress the listeners with some some hidden truths. And I didn't prepare really. But don't don't you think that like uh, yeah. by by like by tricking the listeners, yeah, that like future yeah. facts you might come up with might not be taken. They might say, "Oh, this is a joke. Oh, we can't tell when he's serious or not." Right. Then it's a Huffington Post article, and yeah. then we're getting sued. I, I always knew that my uh, podcast career would end pretty quick. I always knew that I was going to be a bright shining star, kind of a Mencia, you know. Oh, I'm going to rise yeah. fast. Builds the builds the podcast, and then yeah. just says. Sayonara. See you yeah. later. I always knew that I was really. This thing's built on sand, metaf metaphorically speaking, and uh, pillars of salt, pillars yeah. of sand. To a quote, but uh, but yeah, no. His his parents, as far as I know, are not. It's not Christy Yamaguchi. He didn't skate with no. pennies in his shoes. Do you mind if I uh, play the uh, the, sar the the flip video part? But what's interesting, and this is a, a this is a well known fact about PJ Led. He has. Uh, he's well. You guys are laughing because we're waiting for a lie, dude. <laughs> I'm, waiting for the, I'm waiting for a good lie. So well, this yeah. is a real. This is a real thing. Oh, okay, you gotta yeah. hit it home, dude. Well, and there's a lot of people that there's a lot of skaters that this is true for, and, and and a lot of people don't even realize this that that most some of the best skaters of all time. The reason that is is because they have an extra toe on each foot, which creates a unique a unique grip yeah. factor. I've heard that and a power mm -hmm. in their flick. Uh, and um, I've heard that you know Rodney, PJ you falls know, under Rodney, that. Rodney yeah. Mullen has an extra toe. Yeah, on each foot. Yep. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> what did you guys move to LA for? What comedy? No, no podcast. Uh oh, <laughs> yeah, to be a <laughs> podcast. God. Star. Okay, good. We need to start a podcast here. Whereas the humidity is better for for podcasts in California. Yeah, in LA, I agree with that. I can see. I mean, that. all the Seattle podcasts they have a hard time because of the. You know, moisture. Yeah. Dude, I would sit and I would watch this video part and I would uh first I'd masturbate and then oh, wow. yep. And then uh 
I would masturbate during, so that's weird that you would do it. Right yeah, before. right before. Every usually. every pro that I message, this is the podcast I'm going to fucking send them. Yeah, just <laughs> listen so to this, really just so you know, it. just so you get like. A, well, it'll, it'll be like this taste. is what it'll be if you don't show up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So make us victims. <laughs> so <get it>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like we're doing uh, our BT, best, dude. BT Dubs Nick Dompier or Dompier. 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 Yeah. Is in Florida, so he's not even in, in California. But I told him when he's in California, hit me up until we, unless we want to start doing Skype or whatever. I know we. Yeah. Talked about that, and we're not really considering Dude, I don't that. I know moment. how to do it. Yeah, we. Just, but it also just seems like the conversation would be weird. Yeah, it's not the same thing as having drinks. And, I'm also having. I have no. You know, if some of these jokes didn't work, and we listen back, I might cut these little jokes out. Yeah, you know wouldn't mind I mean? if you did. If yeah. I take a swing, and <laughs> wouldn't mind if you did. Yeah, no, it's probably for the best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but why is it the greatest part? Why is that the greatest part? Um, to Nolan in our yeah in my opinion I think that but it's in the conversation generally well typically here's one standard you need you need the fact that it completely blew the socks off the skateboard world at its time any part that would can be in that category it has to be something that's like unleashed on people like there's a gnarliness that they didn't that we didn't know existed didn't anticipate oh dude and uh and it's so sick that it's a par- it's a shop video. It's the best part about it, Ugh. because you're like, who the fuck is this kid? Yeah, he's skating at such a level. It's almost like Corey Kennedy that when you show up to the demo, very similar. It's like, Holy to, shit! Very similar to Kennedy. Very similar, but even sicker. Because like even Kennedy's Beware a Sasquatch video like is so sick, but this is just something else, yeah, dude. Yeah, for the time is yeah. I mean, and he's just dinking around like he he's fucking around like we all are, but his fuck around is uh. Yamaguchi flips. Yeah, but no, you know he can do these tricks every try, and he's fucking mobbing. He's going yeah. fast, and he tail slid a minivan at the beginning of one of the best lines and it was you'll ever just see. Like a, Dodge floaty a floaty one eighty, a floaty one eighty tail slide. It was so steezy. Mm-hmm. Super sick. Dodge Spe- caravan. Also, it's almost like if you were watching in sports, you're like, "What's the greatest game?" The greatest game might also have to contain to help it be the greatest game. Might have to contain one of the greatest plays and. By way of analogy, I would say one of the best lines of all time is that line at the end, the tail slide. It starts with the tail slide in, then the cab bigger flip, then a cab nose slide, sw- switch front side, 270 heel out, then switch back heel, then switch tray, and then whoosh, the kick away. I don't know too many lines better than that one, man. Do you want me to get my GoPro and film, film us talking? GoPro, yeah? Yeah. Sure. You want to get my bro pro? Yeah. Were you filming that whole thing on the computer? Yeah. On the the uh, yeah. Yeah. I stopped it now, so that's the video of it right there. The eye computer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to if you want to put together a seminal part, a be unknown. That kind of helps. It almost seems like. And also be way better than everybody. everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll get to that last. There are a ton of people with YouTube clips right now who Dude. suck. That's that's the other thing that makes this part so special. I don't even know if it can. Maybe maybe the next greatest part that'll pop up. I'm sure there's been plenty that you can throw in this category. We can talk about the greatest and the best. It's silly stuff, but it is fun to kind of look at. I think I think for most people that came up skating and watched that part, the reason why it resonates as the best part, like the, the memory of it, is there's just there's something addictively good about it that. I mean, I remember watching parts back then, like the In Bloom video, the the uh, Paul Rodriguez part. Mm-hmm. I would watch over and over and over. But that one just made me, PJ's part just made me want to skate. If admit, That's probably the greatest compliment. Like I just, I want, and that, that would happen with a lot of parts to a certain degree, but PJ's more than anything. It said like, oh, this is the greatest thing I could do is go skate right now. And that push when he's pushing away, ugh, boy, what a moment. It's like they planned it or some shit. Or... He fell right after. Like, <laughs> he hit a rock. He hit a rock. And he actually, that's, that's really funny. <laughs> he was about to try to like just end it with something cool, but he hit a rock right after. Yeah, there was like a huge gap. Yeah. Mm. It's very possible. He was going really fast. He was like pushing for something. That's my water. Are you just filming? You're not going to. What's up? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prop this up. You gonna prop it? Yeah. 
Dude, I would watch that part, and then I would go out to my garage. And, uh, Jerk it again. Dude, yeah. I would do that too and just have skate sessions in the cold with my gloves on. So it, cold. Doing background tricks. Yep. So cold. Oh, I would go shovel snow at the skate park and skate by myself. Really? Yeah. Was it dry underneath? Um, it, the sun was out, so it would dry fairly quickly. Oh, yeah. Like a towel with me, yeah. At the Yakima Park? Yeah, at the Yakima Park. Yeah, you could do that back in, in that in that area of the, the the world. We would just like uh, shovel off the flat bar. Yeah. Yeah. Get skate and, and like a run up to it. Yeah, run up. Yeah. We yeah. didn't do that in our days when I was at Ellensburg. Ian, people yeah. stayed off. Yeah. Weird. I would go out to my little garage, and we had this like workbench, and I would. It was long enough. It was probably ten feet long, mm-hmm. and about this high, three or four feet high. And then I would push from one end to the other and use it as like a get, like that was my loading dock or whatever. And just try frontside flips. I'd, I'd, I'd replay those PJ frontside flips for a good minute and then go out there and try them and then make Jake watch. Uh, y'all, yeah, I'm like, Jake, Jake, come film it. And Jake's like, oh, fuck, I don't want to, dude. It's cold out here. I'm like, film it, dude. All right, dude, fish eye or. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but um, the spirit of skateboarding is a really interesting thing because I, I almost feel like you can't define it into one specific image, right? Because if you almost say Danny Ways is it, the spirit of skateboarding, that kind of yeah. going bigger and faster and farther and gnarlier. Yeah. But then there's also stuff like PJ Ladd where he's skating in the streets with this yeah. tech rawness. Um, and there's guys like Jeff Rowley. And then there's guys like Jeff Rowley who's tech gnar. Tech gnar. Yeah. It's like how do you distill – that it's a really interesting question. I think how to distill that question of the spirit of skateboarding of what the ideal is, right? Yeah. And I was thinking about the day, and I think some of the things you would judge on, which we talked on earlier, would be like tech, mm-hmm. gnar, style, and. But if but else? what if you it's but it's not even necessarily that you have any that you can do all things. Or, you know, it's really it's um like I remember when I wanted to. Skate for Ride On Skate Shop. You remember that skate shop in uh, Redmond? I you remember? No, I'm, that I'm, I'm from Eastern Washington. Um, I remember the girl. The the there was a couple that owned it, and they were talking about like I wasn't good enough to get sponsored yet. And she was like, we "We're talking about how to get sponsored." She's like, "How do you get sponsored?" She's like, "I just want to see kid. We we'll take on." kids that skate that we see skating nonstop. if you're out there every day for like three hours every single day and you just eat sleep and breathe skateboarding and you can't stop doing it he's they're like we'll sponsor people like that even if they're not good yet because they get what skateboarding is about and they'll get good like they'll eventually get good but ultimately they're doing like the reason you're doing it is because you're stoked about it you're endlessly stoked about it you can't stop thinking about it and you're just excited to play around and dink around with the tricks. And it's almost like, why is that part so sick? And why does his other ones always feel a little bit different? Because comparatively, they're sick. But why is that part different? Because it's almost like in that part, you just happen to catch PJ skating. As opposed to the other parts, it's like PJ is filming for a part now. Right. And the spirit of skateboarding is that. Yeah. Like, oh, turn on the camera because this something special is happening right here. Yeah. And Or not, like, because you're not that good or whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But the fact that you're just... You know what I mean? Like, it's not the spirit of skateboarding is that you're sick enough to have a great part. Right. But that you're just obsessed. Out there, out trying, there doing it. Doing it. Mm-hmm. Man, we got to film Especially some back too. then, too, because uh, it was just less cool. Yeah. So if you did it, that was the only reason you were doing it. It's because you really loved it that much. Because yeah. in Washington, especially, especially on our side, skateboarding was not cool. See, it was not mainstream. And when I was in junior high and middle school, that was what the cool kids did. Yeah, skate. Me too. But then once you got to high school, it wasn't. They stopped because they were fucking Maybe you that's get your license bitches. and stuff. And, and you remember when I turned 16, I didn't, I didn't skate that much for, you know, until I got in, into college. Mm. And I skated for like three years every day. And then I started doing stand-up when I was 21. And I stopped skating. And the rest was history. Now you're famous. Now you're you got super a Netflix fame, special. bro. Stand-up yeah. Anthony. That's, yeah. why, that's why we have like, that's why we have over 100 listeners, dude. Yeah. Well over. Man. Like 107 at least. Imagine if we were doing this on a theater stage. We just have like a crowd of people. I know. Freeze. Be How crazy. cool would that be if we got that big? We could do that. I would want to do that. Would you guys want to do Fuck that? Fuck yeah, that'd be yeah, great. Do that. Have like a theater come and we're just talking and they're laughing. We're oh, be wonderful. with them and shit. That would be the best. Yeah. I'd have a lot of obscure facts. Yeah. That, that I'd f- present. Lie or, 
or truth? <laughs> truth or lie? Truth or it's not. always a lie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's never been truths. Yeah. What is do, an obscure you, fact? I have a question for you, Nolan. Um, do you want to film a skate park? PJ obscure fact number four. PJ dude, uh, fucking shit. Go, he dude. Go skates ahead, dude. a ten, an eleven inch, eleven inch wide skate. Uh, his deck is eleven inches wide. Oh wow! Yeah. How long is it? It's a short. It's about half the half uh-huh. the size of a normal. It's length. almost as long as it is wide. Mm-hmm. As it's wide a as it's long. a Coke can cock board. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. You know what I mean? Yeah. The tuna can cock. It's a tuna they're, can. We're gonna have kids board. writing in. They're gonna be like, "Man, that eleven inch board joke had me dying. I was driving <laughs> with my dad in the car. I just couldn't stop laughing. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. Eleven inch board. It's ridiculous. It's so of our time. Oh, that's my wife. I gotta go. Oh my god, fuck uh-huh. Betsy. Just kidding. I shouldn't have even said that. Love you, that. That baby. Much, 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 yeah. mama. She's great. Yeah, she's cool. Uh, what were we going to say, though? Did you just fart? No. Okay, good. No, it's the chair. You were asking right. something before these, I these unleashed my obscure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I was like, what the fuck? I just asked you a straight question. You just, like, ghosted it. Railroaded Anyways, it. My um, bad. We're, starting, we're getting our chemistry down. No, no, mm. we're, on the, we're, on the, we're on the... I'll blame me, by the okay. way. Okay, again, you just fucking... Cut. Bro, I took a I'm... I'm <laughs> well, we're on video now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> They're gonna see this bullshit. <laughs> you fake. Oh, They're all man. liars. We can't get it right. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I was gonna say that'll, that'll drive some people to the YouTube channel. Yeah, they'll be listening. They'll be like, "Oh, I gotta watch it." Did you now. watch the video? Oh, God. <laughs> them in the kitchen. They just slapped Anthony and Nolan around. Yeah, eat almonds and shit and hot Cheetos with fucking cheese. This shit's wild. This shit's wild. Um, well, no, I was gonna ask. Do you want to film a skate park? I, I mean, I do. 100%. I mean, is it is, is it kind of like this fantasy in the back of your head, or is it like no? I really like, do. No, I would like to do that. I really, really would like to. So do, do that. I, dude. I feel like we. No, I do. It's like you're if be you're fun. a painter, you want to paint shit. Yeah, yeah. Why not? I want to film skate shit, mm-hmm. especially now that I don't have the pressure. It would be all on me. I, I think it'd be better. I think absolutely. it could be better than my part, my original part. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. I think my part could be. I mean, I don't really have a part. I've had montages, but that's it. But I think I could really. You never go put to a little part together. Shit. Can I put my Can I put my two cents in? You not may not. Please I do. It, I think it'll be. I think it'll be the worst, for the both of you. What do you mean? I think it'll be not as good as the last anything you, you've done. <laughs> Stop Ow, again on video. Face. Damn, Alex. My face. Chill, dude. I just, I just slapped the shit you out of You just smacked the mustache off me. Jeez, dude. What kind of comedy it's is supposed it? to be a chill cast? What kind of comedy is it where? What is it called? Because it's got to be called something because I've done it too. And I learned that I, well, I just stopped doing it. No, 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 no. Where you have like a great thread going and then you derail it with, with like. Yeah. Like. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Anthony! You say what you're gonna say, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> now I'm cutting off Anthony. I'm Are you talking, talking about callbacks? No, 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 no. Because he's like, that would actually be the worst idea. Where we're like getting really into it, like it'd be so much fun, blah blah. Yeah, blah. Yeah. And he's like, oh, and he's always he's the foil. He's like, yeah. it would be stupid. You call him the foil. Yeah, but he does. You do. You re- I mean, do you really mean that? Or are you just being funny? Because you're hilarious. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, dude. That was so weird. That's what no, I'm sure you guys will be just fine. Yeah. <laughs> See, my thing is, I would probably have to do everything from tripod. What do you mean? Oh, because I'm not going to film I, it. I would just want it to be just solid and not have to worry about filming it at all. That's the thing, too. Yeah, because then it's like, oh, somebody's got to yeah. film and then we can't. Then it, yeah, we should do an all tripod part. Yeah. Has that been done? It, it, almost in its shittiness, it'd be original at least. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, no, no. I mean, no, you can do it really well because you just set up the shots good. But I want to film have it at lines, the Yakma 40 escape You should get one of, those, uh, one of those drones where you get where you have the control in your pocket. You can like, Oh, and I'm like doing tricks and filming myself at the same no, time. No, you can like you can like set it on like a little course and it'll it'll like come up and like start in one place and then like... Are you, you serious? Press it's start like AI? And it, like, yeah, and it like goes out a certain amount and then once you're done, you just like... That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, super! Practical. I do have a drone, by the way. Do you really? And it has really? a camera, but it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not HD. It probably looks like fucking. No, we could do. We could do tripod parts, like minute long tripod parts, and then it's probably. No, like I'll a, film your part, dude. I would actually wouldn't mind filming your part. But I'm if just, we got in film, then you know it might. Dude, it's gonna take a while. I take forever to land shit. I take forever no, to land dude. shit, See, dude. Nope, not for me. Because my thing is, is I know I I would I would plan out the part that I want to film, and then I would get those tricks like down every try on the, the sm- park on the fundamental obstacle mm-hmm. so it'd be like 5-0 if i want a 5-0 ledge yeah have 5-0s locked in you know what's cool too you know about I mean? la is like there's so many handrails in la that you could you could even for us old guys you could even have a handrail a few handrail tricks because they're so there's some like low chill handrails where you're not yeah. gonna get wrecked yeah you know what i mean yeah. as opposed to like back the handrails we were skating and 
uh, Ellensburg were, and just in that area, they were all pretty gnarly. Jesus, all Super gnarly, especially the one right by the park. Mm-hmm. The round rail that had the the uh, kind of had a uh, pavement next. Oh no, I didn't see that one. Yeah, no, you did. I just don't. I'm not gonna explain. Well, the one at front boarded is gnarly. I mean, not trying to toot my own horn, but I don't know the streets, but it's a long black (laughs) rail and it's tall. I know streets, dude. Long black rail and it's tall. There's no the the rail. It's that one where I go. The rail. Oh, and I eat shit. Absolutely. You remember that? No. The long black rail. But I wish I did. Just know the liquor rail, the bait rail, the Potsky bait rail. Mm Mm-hmm. The flat, the flat one at the liquor store. The old liquor store? I don't know. I don't know Yakima that well, Ellensburg. as far as the name of the parts. Are you talking about Ellensburg? Yeah, I thought that's what you were talking about. The I cooked that. Oh, you were talking about Yakima. Okay, I'm I know talking about that. Yakima. Yeah, I know what rail you were talking about. There it's was a church. It's on the 40th and Fruitvale. There was that um that carnival or what did they call it? Like it campgrounds or what? play fair fairgrounds? That's right. the word. Yeah. And I cro- <laughs> That was a rail I cooked. At the on the plaza. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a one push crook. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd love to throw down a part, man. Um, what would you want to do though? Because you're more like a transition guy. No, it, my, no, a park mine, park? mine's would be at the Yakima Park because mm. that's my home park. You'd want to go home and do that? Yeah. Oh, I think that would be a great adventure. Go home for like two weeks and just every day just there filming tricks. Damn. And like tricks that I would like as a kid I could never do because one I was either scared or not good enough. Oh. And then just go back there and handle it. You think you're? Do you think you're better now than you ever were? Absolutely. Oh, interesting. Which is great. Hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah. There's no. What about hucking? Because like you ollied over that that kink rail at Ellen's at the at Central. Oh, bro, I could do that first fucking try. You're not you would that wouldn't bother you. The I mean, idea of I that? never I never really look, I look for hucking, but I could guarantee I could do it first try. Be no problem. Absolutely. Hmm. My 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 idea of what skating is just changed. Yeah. Um, and why I skate is different. Yeah. I mean, it's still sim. It's still the same, but I'm I'm skating purely for skateboarding's sake. Mm-hmm. Almost now, instead of like when you're younger, it's just crazy. You just think. I was riding for mid state. There's a lot going on because you're like you're nervous about how you look to the olders. Yeah. And then there's also the idea that you're going to be getting good and maybe get sponsored. There's the weird pressure. Nah, not for Anthony. No. He's shaking his head. He no, never I had think that concern. Never that pressure of getting sponsored <laughs> for me. Yeah. I got second place in an intermediate skateboarding contest once. Ellensburg skate contest. That's right. I did. Wow. Second place. I wonder if I was there. It's like 1990, maybe 2000, maybe 2000. Yeah, I was like 13. How old are you? 30. Oh, okay. So you've been skating as long as I have. Yeah, but I quit but skateboarding he, yeah. for like oh, 10 right, years. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yep. Um, so what were, you, what were you talking about? I was thinking with PJ's part. Uh, I wonder if like an older, I wonder if we're old in that way where if like a kid who was maybe, um, I don't know, 16 right now, so if he could watch that part and get stoked. See, that's the thing. See, that's what I was thinking about. When you say that's the greatest skate park of, skate part of all time, because it really has to transcend its time. Where I think the PJ Lad part is only as impressive in the context of when it came out. Yeah, you know what I mean. And you can never really wrap your head around how how uh, gnarly it was. You Just, you truly can't. You can theoretically you can understand it intellectually, but you can't grasp that feeling. Of viscerally, being like, you cannot. Yeah, because you have to have been a skater at that time. Yeah, skating with people at skate parks and it was blowing your dick off. You yeah. were just like. But would you? Who then? Who would you compare it to? Like a part nowadays? That's a good like question. you could be like, well, if some kid wasn't impressed know, by that, you'd be question. like, that would be like, fucking. I was thinking about that. Well, there's like, uh, there's um, one of Nigel's parts, I guess. Um. But now with the but the, are are there any that had that because even the video days the blind video days which was the one that I felt like I was out of touch with that old skateheads when we were right, coming me up too, yeah they wasn't reference. our generation yeah but then if you look at that that had the same vibe of like just turning on the camera and catching a genius on camera and so I think maybe that might be the criteria might really be. Uh, what is that part that's so gnarly that's pushing skateboarding, but it's got that feel of like you're just catching a guy skate instead of oh, this guy's man. feel. Because all the Niger parts, as gnarly as they are, and a lot of a lot of modern parts, as gnarly as they are, look like that guy knows he's filming a part. Yeah, Does it's so professional. Sense? It's so well done. Yeah. Yeah. See, and I was going to say... An important well, part. it's a well-oiled machine nowadays. Back exactly. in the no, day... That's definitely true. It, it was we, much more gorilla. Yeah. So, yeah. Which is stoners. Because if you watch, like, the... If you watch, like, 
a lot of those um piss drunks and shit fuck yeah man <laughs> bx yeah dude no it was black magic oh god it was so rock and roll shit. it was so much tied more to the spirit of skateboarding it was so much subculture sub yeah counterculture now it's counterculture. Main, now, mainstream yeah, so mainstream mainstream dude you can get I mean, my little, from being a skater my little cousins wear skate gear they're a little they're you know they ask for it for christmas they live down here though right no they live up back home oh really and they yeah, still they're, do they're girls they just want like thrashers want, Thrasher sweatshirts. Thrasher sweatshirts. Thrasher oh sweatshirts. It's Supreme sweatshirts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That shit's so gay, bro. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't want to hate on anyone because I know a lot of people who love to rock fucking Thrasher and Supreme, but... It's kind of a bummer. It's a bummer on us because it's like we're part of this club that people would almost even talk shit about, and now they're like, yeah, I love that shit. And you're like, yeah. what the fuck yeah, you, dude? You How many times fuck? did I have to get called a skater fag when I was a high school? Yeah, go yeah. push wood, dude. <laughs> it's like, suck my cock, dude. You're going to be wearing my shit before you know it. Yeah, you don't get it. Mainstream hack. It's so funny. When I moved to Washington, I had a shaved head and would wear skinny pants because um, I couldn't get pants that had my waist. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You yeah. know, I know exactly and what that's length. like. And so they were all super skinny, and people made fun of me for it. Two years later, the skinny punk, jeans. the punk movement hit. Yeah, with like skating, everyone's wearing skinny jeans in America, and, and you're like, I'm what? like, I was doing this shit before any of you, and now people are wearing high water pants. As it's cool, I'm like, bro, I'm tall. I've been wearing high water pants. I was like, it's so interesting, just these trends and this. Yeah. Mm, so it's and you never know shit. when you're young too you just do it no, you yeah. know what i mean like you don't know why things are they are you just like see it start happening around you're like i'm gonna do that I'm gonna get fat shoes that. baggy pants mm, yeah you know what i mean Small i wasn't wheel. thinking about it you know what i mean you know what i mean dude um but so the part of now that would be pj part honestly i think you'd have to be we'd have to have a youngster because part of it was that i was young part of it was that i was influenced and i'm not you, like that you think anymore it might be like the cory kennedy Part you're talking yeah, about. but that's Maybe, like eight that's years like, ago now. Yeah, I know, but that had that's like the in between spot. Corey had it. You may need to edit this out, but you guys, what's the last skate video you watched? That's I watch him a lot. What's the last skate video? I mean, you you, do you, PJ I, Lad's wonderful, horrible life today. Bro, that video is like twelve years old. <laughs> bro, that video no, is like sixteen years old. Dude. No, Isn't I that watch crazy. I yes, yeah, two thousand two. Oh my god, that's sixteen years, dude. That's why it's crazy. It took oh. it took about eight years for skating to catch up. For ledge skating to catch up to that part, if you want to look at what he was doing in that, yeah, that might be true, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like as far as like technical, uh, how about this mid mid slide or mid grind transition to another trick? That was yeah. kind of Mark Johnson was doing it a lot back then, but to the degree that he was doing it in that oh, part. Oh man, Mark Johnson's part in the Lakai video, one of the best of all time. The three parter. <sighs> Yeah, Guy Mariano, another one, another contender. Guy was so wonderful. The guy's video was sick. That's Let's get Guy Mariano on. We can that do that. Dope. Yeah, I hit up PJ for this part, but he never got back to me. Yeah, that's weird. You think he would? You know, it's probably because of Patriots. Well, I had his number, but I think it's the same number he had when, in 2002 when we were homies. But, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think you got a new number. We just kind of fell out of touch. When you were oh, was that a real f- thing? Yeah, dude. He um when you were 15. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You and PJ were friends when you were 15. Yeah, dude. He yeah. used to. Uh, I don't know if I have told you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. He was for those sick, of dude. you who are just listening, not watching on the GoPro. I both Pro Fro Yo Mo. The Pro Mo. The Yomo Crow Fro. Nolan's a funny guy. For your home what I do so is I Anthony. swing and I miss, and I swing and I miss, but sometimes I knock it out of the park. But, dude, even your misses are great. Because they're so like, stupid. I almost, dude, I almost, like in that game of skate, there's more footage <laughs> that's like more usable of you not landing tricks. Well, you landed less tricks than you landed. But, anyways. I landed, yeah, I didn't land any. I love so. having footage of you because I get, there's just so much shit to use. And I'm sure it'd be the same with you if you came and filmed. Like, just, there'd be oh, so man. much shit to use. They said the fails um, are animated. It's Mike. It's Michael Jordan uh, mentality. Okay, shut the <laughs> fuck up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to compare myself to anybody, I tend to. Th- and it, I don't. You know, it's a little. You know, greatest of all time. It's what yeah. you know. I'm yeah. the Michael Jordan of skateboarding. Yeah, I'm the Michael Jordan of skating. Top, I'm fucking the Bill Burr of Bill Burr. I'm the Bill Burr of Bill Burr. Add a Bill Burr, Bill Burr. Yeah, add a Bill Burr, Bill Burr, huh? We all, should we all do dueling? Dueling, dueling burrs? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Hey, try and tell who's who. Up, dude, yep. who. Who was this? Who's doing hey, this Bill Burr impression? Was it a beer or something? <laughs> it's a fucking terrible Bill Burr impression. <laughs> <laughs> no, it comes in just slays. You notice how he paused? He waited for it. He's like, my turn. <laughs> and in. <laughs> in. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go. Well, let's do dueling dances, huh? Yo, listen, babe. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. That's fucking Christopher Walken. <laughs> what the fuck was that? 
As I, you know, look, last time I saw you. Yeah, I look for any I opportunity. I put a watch in my ass. <laughs> I told my Give mom. Give me that. some of your nuts. I was put in the second of Wayne's World movie. Yeah. Now, skateboarding that, you know I did that music video with uh, Spike Jones. That yeah. fucking where I'm dancing around like a fairy in a mall. Is it Spike? <laughs> it's a Spike a Jones. Is that, that Spike? No, I'm a pizza guy. It's a that Spike really was? Jones. And that's Spike uh, Jones. Uh, that's Are you talking about Jones the uh, Fat Boy Slim? Is that yeah, Spike absolutely. Jones? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. That's what put him on the map. Interesting. Who? No, what you put him on the map? Map was him being fucking sick as fuck, dude. Check your history, dude. Uh, I think you're talking about you're what about, is going on. No, before that though, he was uh, didn't he do some other shit? I think though? he means. I don't know, bro. It doesn't look like I'm gonna he clear this shit. up. I'm gonna clear this up. I'm gonna clear this up. You mean Fat Boy Slim got on, put on the map with by put, Spike Jones? Yes. No, I'm talking about Fat Boy Split Slim put fuck that. I'm saying that music video put Spike Jones on the map. So you guys are saying I thought he was already on the map. I don't know. I just watched his fucking nightclub thing. Mm. He was already he was he doing was already skate doing, videos and he was doing music videos, but that was yeah. the one that kind of like blew him out, mm. as you would say. Right. Like PJ Lab was already killing it in skating, but in a wonderful secret. horrible life blew him out. No right. doubt. God, you're deep, Alex. Is that like when you get? Is that like when you God, get? Like Alex, a, you just nailed it. God, you just killed it, like dude. A good, like a clonic, like a blowout. What yeah. is a clonic? Yeah. When, when they suck the the inside guts. went on the outside, but no. To your point about uh, what is? Never, hold on. What is you a, never clonic? Heard of a clonic? I've heard the word. It's but an enema, right? Well, it's it's based, no, but it's it's okay. way more intense than that. It's like they put a tube in your sphincter, in my butthole. Yeah, and we're skaters, dude. And then they suck the shit out of your stomach, all like, the way. If up. I could just do that, like all of being it. constipated every morning. You are you constipated? I had a friend no. who was constipated. Who I'm like, trying to do you and just make a lie. I have a friend. I have, oh, a, okay. I have a friend who. I'm not yeah, good at it. it takes a while to learn how to fucking lie. Um, I had a friend you know. who did shit for two weeks and had to go get one of those things. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, like I'm, for real, for real. That sucks. Literally. Or was it fun? Right. Did you like? I mean, it? he said he felt great after. Who? Oh, I thought you said you did it. Oh, not me. Because no, I wasn't it was listening. A friend of mine. <laughs> 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 but I think that the Corey Kennedy era was the next great uh, passion driven, uh, spirit of skate driven come up. That out of nowhere fucking kid that's just inspiring with all of his videos. I do think Corey was the next, but who's the one of the no, now? No, Ni- was before Corey. No, but Nigel didn't, you know, may I say, can I, can I, can I blaspheme? Can I, can I blaspheme? But no, dude, I'm not putting Nigel on a Nigel, pedestal, but what Nigel accomplished as a 13-year-old kid, he was doing kickflip feeble to fakie on fucking nine stair handles at 13, Yeah, I've bro. watched skate videos before, at too. At 13. He was feebling the Hollywood 16 at 13, bro. We're he not was, talking about... I don't know, but he was before Corey Kennedy. Get your facts straight. I'm not saying that he wasn't. But Corey Kennedy was a chapter in skateboarding for sure. Here's what I'm trying to say. Say it, dude. There was parts that were contemporary with PJs that were equal to PJs as far as like ability, but there was just something special. Uh, Yeah, I was just challenging the, the the notion that Corey was the next one. I think After it's the PJ. next one in the in the in the weird these weird criteria that we're using to call PJs part that that one of the greatest of all time. That, uh, whatever weird like, it's, criteria it's we're a, using, where, where it's like not a prodigy because Nigel's yeah. a prodigy, like yeah, right, yeah, yeah. A prodigy. And Nigel, to my Different recollection, okay. never had that. that part that I'm like I'm addicted to. That's like it's amazing, it's unbelievable, yeah. but it's not like. You know, I'm not getting. I'm not getting raging boners. Like, I'm glad we clarified. Like P- skate boners. P- I understand like what you're P- saying. I'm P- glad P- we clarified. Rod's part in the City Stars video before he went. Pro. That's a that's a prodigy part. Yeah, that's not an yeah, inspiring. Yeah, Rod's a prodigy. Insane. Evan Hernandez is a prodigy. Um, but wow, this, these are great terms. You know what I mean? Does this make any sense? No, absolutely. Because you're kind of dogging, like not you. You're like by making these distinctions, it's like you're dogging Nike. You're not. No, but absolutely. there's something about that PJ part, and a lot of people can relate to this. Just check yeah. the YouTube comments. Yeah, like this part blew me away in a yeah. way that made me. I watched it every time to yeah. get hyped. Every time to get hyped. And you're talking like Trujillo's a little bit like that for you, but um, yeah, personal taste, I guess. And you were saying what would be that part of now, and I don't know. I don't know. Jamie Foy, maybe. Well, his most recent part. Yeah, dude, he front crooked on Toro first try. It's it's just got to give you that feeling. It's yeah. hard to describe. It's not just sick. Louis Lopez does it for me. Louis could back there. You Louis's go. been on the scene. Louis a prodigy. Yeah, but, but that he's but that he's part, maturing in such a way that's just so much fun to watch. It's that thing. It's the same thing. We already said this, not to repeat, but it's that like you're catching something special on film. 
They're not filming a part. You're watching something freakish happen. Yeah, it's almost like an accident. Yeah. That's like what a great movie is too, right? You feel like you're like mm-hmm. like intruding almost. Mm-hmm. Or a great stand-up set. Yeah. Great stand-up set feels like this is this is happening now. This isn't just happening like every moment. other night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so it's modified in that way. There's a greatness to it. So yeah. like a lot of great stand-up specials, they're like, they're like Norm MacDonald talked about how he did his stand-up, uh, his last special. He did that set like 30 times before the special, same set. He said that was easily the special set was his worst one of the last 30. Damn. Nice catch. And that was because when the special was on, it's like there's a different, there's a different tightness to the way that you're performing. It's like now we're capturing the magic. Mm-hmm. But sometimes the process of capturing the magic can ruin it. And sometimes skate videos, just, they're always sick. But that feeling, like here's exactly if I may. Magic. That's a great That's a great definition to keep in mind. Yeah. Was the part, the, did the part have that magic? Magic. To it? Because Nigel, no, nah, not magic. Impressive. Absolutely. Fucking unbelievable. But the magic no, is kind of like that. anomaly in the universe of skateboarding. Yeah, 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 dude. Nebulous, eth- ephemeral, well, uh, abstract. <laughs> he Careful freaks out, dude. Warlock if you start shit, to, bro. Yeah, if, he's very susceptible to spells and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Little known fact about I'm Anthony. half Mexican, I was, bro. I, was, I watched I watched a lot of Harry Potter movies when I was a kid. Oh, we don't have to put. Sorry, we don't have to put that. You guys can keep. I don't want to eat any more. But maybe we shouldn't, because we've been kind of like crunching and talking with like half mouths full. Oh, I, I I've been very self conscious yeah, and just I mean. moving it away. Yeah, yeah I move my mouth away when I eat nuts. Yeah. <laughs> it's more funny how much you're laughing at. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but I was gonna say about PJ. So then the parts after everybody kind of can tell. So if you watch, you watch like they do the um, what do they do? The raw, the uncut now, like yeah, the parts yeah, they do the uncuts with, where there's no music there's, or in which what, I enjoy even more than the love parts. It, I right? won't even watch the parts. I'll watch the raw footage because it's exactly those what you're are kind of where you start to see the magic now. Yeah, those are kind of those because if you what does it you can tell that <laughs> man. It's like I'm losing my what is it with it. I don't live in. PJ had he had this uh, New Balance part, and then they did the uncut of that. And you'll watch PJ do, and so many pros do this. So many modern skateboarders do this. They land a trick that's so sick, and then they have this like "fuck, it wasn't perfect" look on their face. That's and then it's three minutes of them doing the trick, like amazing, but it's like just they're being so specific about it. And that particular that whatever that feeling that they have and that that approach that they have, it makes a sick part. But I think that part will not have the magic, because you can see because it's not this weird accidental catching brilliance. It's very purposeful and methodical. It's very safe. Yeah, it's so safe. His his wonderful horrible life was not safe. It's just like because he's skating. Yeah, the new the new the new balance and he, he PJ Ladd's so killing it. Still at the top. Of he's unbelievable. Game. But if but you watch it, he looks disappointed was, when he doesn't. And land it was it right. such a safe part. It wasn't as interesting. Yeah, I would say it wasn't as fun to watch. Even though the techness was just like holy, f- this guy obviously is a ledge master. Yeah, and if you look at like the how a legend. good he's a legend. That's pretty good, actually. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, yes and see, dude. Thank you, bro. Appreciate no that. I think I'm pretty bad at yes ending. Am I not? I'm like, no, I'm like, not, no, no, no. I wouldn't say so. Let's talk. Sometimes about you are. Sometimes, sometimes you'll, sometimes you'll steal the uh, thunder. No, 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 no. You'll change the premise. Thunder? No, no, no. You'll change. You'll change thunder? the premise. I guess right. you'd say. Instead of adding to it, you say, "Oh, this premise is funny." Which mm. is, it still could be very funny, but it's yeah. just not adding to it. It's like there's a great session going on. You're like, I'm going to go skate the half pipe. I'm like, but Nolan, this lead session. But killing. we're yes handing this this flat bar. Dude, sessions. I'm ch- I had a good session today at the yeah. Naho Park. Yeah. There were some dudes that were skating. I mean, they they were within our skill range, and but they were just doing, like this guy did a kick with Manny Shove out on the long manual pad, but he was cheering too much for everyone, mm. even when they weren't landing shit. Like overtly, this guy was trying to do a nose manual to drop uh, nose manual. It's kind of like forced hype. I don't like yeah. forced hype, dude. And it's like you got to be really careful with it, dude, because you have yeah. to. It's like, yeah. And he was just forcing. I'm like, dude, this guy obviously is like getting it. It's annoying. Like I was trying back tails mm-hmm. and I was getting into some, and he would be like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" I'm like, "Bro, you're like almost frustrating me more." Was he not that good too? No, he was good. His style wasn't the best, but he's a really cool dude. Okay, he's, he was fun to skate with, but sure. it's just. That minor criticism. Sometimes I guess. I'll see like dudes get a little forced type when they're not that good, and it's almost a way to ingratiate themselves to yeah. the skaters. You know what I mean? I almost, I, which you I, know, I'm not. I ain't, I ain't trying to. I know what you mean. I'll hype dog up, nobody. I'll, I'll hype up anyone who's like doing something that's above where they're at skating wise. That's like, true. If I see one of the rippers at a park do something I see them do all the time, bro. You're not getting shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if I see some someone like 
you know, like when Anthony did that board slide at the Vegas Park, Hi. that fucking rail. Hi. That shit was sick, dude. That, it, it was in. like, that's Agreed. what it is. You know, because it's not so much about the trick. It's about who's doing the trick. Yeah. What that journey is. Absolutely. He was kicking his board at the rail, bro. That shit was, that's my favorite. You know, that was pretty impressive because you really don't ever skate. <laughs> no, <now. I> don't. <laughs> and no. You got to skate more, dude. You should probably try it out. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know if you know this, but you have a skateboarding podcast. Oh, yeah. 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 Did you know you're like on the banner? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know your name's in the title? I was the one who told him to make the banner. Oh, shit. That was crazy as you're on it right I know, now. I was the one who gave him all the pictures for that, too. Yeah. I hate that my picture in that one. Uh, yeah, well, I have this weird chipmunk face. Although I do have one. Next but. time, give me a better headshot, and you won't Fuck. have that problem. Yeah, I, I loved it. it. I, th- I thought it was great. Thanks, dude. I was yeah, just being insecure. I liked it too. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. yeah. I'll do that. Do my bad. <laughs> no, don't. No, nope. it, it passed. Yeah, <laughs> shit's passed. It is so fucking far gone. It's I the wonder worst. When Where's you... another beer at? Where is it? I don't know. Why don't you check the fridge next to you? You guys don't want a beer? I really do. I've been sick. Ah, uh, but, but you, I can't. Okay. You get a good. Are you gonna drive? Oh, I'm definitely gonna. No, I'm. Just you just want to keep home. your six pack or some shit? Fuck yeah, dude. You live fucking three blocks away, bro. No, it's no, not no, even no. That. Do you? I'm not. I no, was hungover. You don't want to drink? That's fine. I was hungover. I don't like double drinking. Yeah, don't. Do it's double more drink. of a principle. Mm, you old when you get to keep drink a lot, and then the next. That's that's how you. That's why I, I think I got. That's sick. why I just drink every Did day. Double drinking. <laughs> very little. Drink on Thursday. Drink on Friday. Kind of felt. Shitty. I would love that PJ on. If I had PJ Lad on, other than trying to talk to him about the purity of the spirit of skateboarding, I would want to. We're sending him a message. I right so now. desperately would want to ask him in a, in, a, in a kind way, not in a Nolan sarcastic way, but like seriously, was there a difference for you, like kind of after the flip video? Because it that he you know it seemed like it changed for him as like far he disappeared as, in a way. Yeah, he wasn't putting out parts regularly, and then and then the Plan B video was like. If I'm not mistaken, the the distance between the flip video, extremely sorry, and the Plan B B video, which he didn't even have a part in, I mean, it's like it was probably like seven years, eight years, and yeah. um, and I'd be curious what what happened for him. You know, like Actually, you if know being it's a pro weird. changed his it's mentality. Weird that you would ask that to him because I could tell you right oh, now. Oh, interesting. I, I can tell. I read an interview. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. He got really into foot fetish porn mm-hmm. for eight years. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, God, I bet just, she can just fucking is lay it, flip out of nose slides like no one. That uh-huh. makes sense, like six yeah. toe foot fetish stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. makes sense. I have heard. I had heard wind of that. <laughs> yeah, you had is. blown wind to that. Hey yo, be funny if we. Uh, just because I feel sorry for you. Man. Yeah, it's okay. Everyone does. Oh. Oh, stop, Anthony! I meant in that moment. Do you know why general, though? It's because like it's because like, it's cause like a two hundred mo- likes. Good job, Nolan. That's all. Like, keep, keep going. It's because of a. Uh, uh, it's because like a month and a half ago, my uncle died. Jesus Christ! <sighs> that's true, though, dude. Yes, yeah, because remember on Vegas, I kept saying shit. And he's like, dude, that's the died. ultimate callback. Oh to, like, yeah, two, no, two no, months no, ago. Right. My bad. <laughs> you just redeemed yourself, bro. <laughs> That is so. That was great. just what we think. You go and do something like that. <laughs> so true. That was a great one, and I missed it. I sat here and I looked like a goddamn fool on the GoPro, <laughs> just being on the outside. That's okay. Oh, are you gonna hit him up? Welcome. Yeah. Let's hit him up on the cast. We're gonna hit him up right this now. Is our, this is our new segment called. Uh, yeah, hit, how to get rejected hit, by pros? Hitting up the pros. Yeah. Yo, but getting hold rejected up. by Lindsay pros. Robertson. He said, "Yeah." Nick Dompier said, "Yeah, but he lives in but Florida." Lindsay, but Lindsay said, "Yeah," and then I tried to further like. It, here's the hardest thing. It's so fun to get Closing. the yes. Closing. Hey, hold on. The deal. Let's uh, let's we let's read the uh, with let's Lindsay. Read the exchange on the air. So we're talking well, about Lindsay Robertson. Our fans, give our fans something a little titillating. Oh, look at Eric Denier. We can get yeah, him on. I saw that. Look at this chill ass thing. Boom. Pockets. This is our buddy. Eric. <laughs> That's awesome. Our buddy Edward. Yeah, not Ed anymore. He's Eric. Eric Does he call himself Eric now? Yeah, I think, oh, for real? I think he's shed Ed. But Who? Is he shed, shedded? I think he just shed Ed. He shedded. He shedded. <laughs> God damn it, dude. You're all up yeah, about Anthony. it. Play on them. So I yada yada and then he said, so here's a big long, and then here's going two words. I'm down. I'm down. Oh, my God. Game changer. It's Sunday. I'm having the best day of my life. Hey, why didn't you put team manager, bro? <laughs> 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 I've learned my lesson. Yeah. Um, I'm down. And That's exactly said, what Don Pierre said. He said, I'm down. Oh. Did he say anything else after that, though? Yeah, no, we we had an ongoing conversation. Fuck. Me and mine ended right there. Yeah, that's where it is. Awesome. His... Would you be able to do Saturday, March 3rd at 1 p.m. and record another Ooh, you gave him the fucking phone number? No, dude. He'd even seen it? 
Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think he's even seen these, which makes me feel even better. Yo, just tell. And almost better. I don't know. And almost. Like, no, because like when he saw it, he replied. Yeah, but he replied. How long did it take him to reply the first time? Uh, two seconds. Yeah. No, nah, probably like three hours. How so long, it's been like a day. How long did it take you to reply to, to his? Like another four more, like three hours probably after oh, that. Oh, so you waited three hours? Mm-hmm. Why didn't you just get back to him right away? Right then? away? Yeah. yeah, I was busy, dude. <laughs> I was driving, and then I got distracted. And, um, well, you and should, also, I was, I, was, I was doing Uber. I mean, if you really well, you know want to know. Should, well, really... No, but you know what you should do, though, in that situation? You should just text and drive. <laughs> I know. I was trying to. But I wanted to. No, I honestly that. wanted to have, like, a good thing. And I was just trying to, like, I just didn't have that moment. Don't do that, dude. In we the need, future? We need this equipment for just the podcast. Say, just, say, just say in the future, say we're located in the Los Angeles area. We'll drive to you. Because mm-hmm. I'll drive to him, dude. If it's a two- or three-hour drive or even a five-hour drive, I'll mm-hmm. drive. Three-hour mm-hmm. tour. I don't care. Just so he doesn't feel pressured to be like, I gotta go to. Well, he hasn't seen either of these. Should I throw that in there? No, no, no. no. Just leave it like that. If he if he gets back to you, don't bother him. I mean, when he gets back to you, right? Ooh, put it in the universe. Yeah. Um, then you just be like, yeah, we're in NoHo, and you know. Well, I already said NoHo. Um, well, then we'll we record in NoHo. Oh, and I said if that doesn't work, it's all good. We can figure out a different day slash time that's more convenient. Oh, for him to come to us. I didn't really say we'd come to him, but. Anyways, Lindsay, hit me up, dude. Heel flip mania. Yeah, kind of heel flip contest. You can do more heel flips in a row. My guy didn't get back to me at all, and my guy's probably the least famous skateboarder that we tried to get. To. <laughs> That's ironic. <laughs> he's not even a, he's you know just why? A skater he's a by comedian. Hobby. He, he yeah. understands that podcasts are a dime a dozen. You know, don't what I mean? say that on the podcast. Shh. What? You're gonna, you're gonna have to uh, delete. What was the timestamp on that one? Delete that part. Uh, timestamp. Tramp stamp? Uh, did we? Do you think we pr- properly uh, particle breakdown PJ Lads Wonderful Horrible Life? I think we should do another six hours on that five minute video. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't think we do. We have enough for a cast. I mean, like, yeah, yeah dude. Hour, and hour, hour and fourteen. Yeah. Hour and fourteen. Yeah, dude. Whatever. You guys want to leave? That's fine. I gotta get up for work in a couple Ugh, hours. I'm not like you. Get to work. work. Work around Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, dude. That's the yeah. Dude. Fucking, I had Kyrie Irving yesterday. Gay. So gay. He didn't even tip. Fuck him. Gay. Really? Yeah. Are, is that but the reason I mean, why? He is probably that, didn't even pay for it. It was probably someone else. Is that is that how high end your place is? They don't like people come in. They don't have to pay because they just like some of them want the, for like, sure. And then some people exposure. pay a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's for the sure. biggest tip you've gotten? To your take home from a tip from a famous person? <laughs> yeah, I can't really talk about that. But I will well, say, I can't. you can't talk about. I mean, we're not asking you the person. Just who? What, how much? Just, just Dollar, it's better if I tell you what's the most that. Someone in my position is taken home because it's far more impressive. Well, um, I doubt it. We're kind of I don't know that you person. I wonder what you want to talk about that, right? Come on. No, 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 no. But I will say Dave Chappelle tipped me a hundred bucks. That was cool. Um, but, uh, dude, we've, over had, the line. we've had billionaires come and mm-hmm. this was before I worked there, even though he came when I worked there, but we didn't get the same kind of love for whatever reason. Um, he tipped, he, he spent $150,000. How night. do you spend that kind yeah, of money? Yeah, bottles. It's 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 literally playing to the ego. They're they're trying to 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 ball out in front of people and say you guys aren't shit. Do you have I'm bottles that are like a thousand dollars? Almost all of our bottles are a thousand dollars or more. So there you go. One hundred and fifty. But he bought a bottle that was a uh, thirty liter or something like that, and it was a hundred k or oh, uh, one bottle. One bottle. Oh, that'll oh, do wait. it. This tall, like this, like three yeah, feet, tall. like a magnum. Like or you whatever? need two people to carry it. No, it's like yeah, but ten who, magnum. who pours it for you then? The the fucking managers. Um, yeah, they put it on like a it's like, like comical, a, like a yeah. like a like that thing in the kettle, the, the kettle kit thing in the kitchen that pours out all the Alfredo at the Olive Garden. <laughs> no, 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 no. But anyways, I used, like a, the, I used to work at the it's Olive like an Garden. engine. So he, so he spent one hundred fifty thousand dollars and he tipped one hundred k. Bill Gates? No, his and name is Bill. Hmm? I almost feel like, dude. I almost don't even want to talk about it because he's that big. Yeah, Whoa. like you're just like. No, I'm not asking it's gonna you. happen, but he's a scary dude. Oh, I almost can't even talk about it on the podcast. Now, fuck it. Who gives a shit? No, one, he's not gonna hear this. <laughs> <Why> <laughs> he <laughs> <might> <laughs> think, I think it's like we're on fucking CNN and yeah. shit. And look, why no, would he care? Because check this out. No, he no, wanted to ball out. So. No, 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 no. Let me take it back. Every time this motherfucker came, we had to do something with six six six. Whether it was a big ass banner in front of the club. Whether it was a six 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 lamp in the back of the private restroom, whether it was six 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 on the front of the DJ booth, he's this uh, uh, Middle Eastern guy who owns a bunch of companies. He's a fucking billionaire, one of the richest people 
on the planet and uh always 666 and i was like and i thought that maybe it was his way of talking shit to america just being like fuck your christian culture 666 mark of the beast yeah uh-huh. maybe because he was muslim or something i, I don't know like, i don't, don't want to but anyway he's what, being he was being like a like a petulant like I mean, like just like this is who the fuck i am right. yeah, yeah. like a gangster i have so much yeah. money that i can make people fucking yeah put shit up and like you think you guys are so holy but do you think no, there's more to it than that oh absolutely do you think i'm just it? speculating but uh, but it's really interesting, That's right? It's really yeah, it's super really creepy. creepy. Yeah. And uh, um, so he bought that hundred fifty. He spent one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Tipped a hundred k. I got hired shit. two weeks after. Each waitress made ten k <sighs> in one night. Each buster made six k. Six thousand dollars in one night. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And you missed it by two weeks. Yeah, I missed it by two weeks. And I saw him again, but the but love was never the same. Wow. Are their lives going like, like are all of them? kind of did they kind of uh, maybe like weird shit's been happening to them ever since yeah you know what i mean like, what do you mean since the, they got the money because they, they got yeah. dirty money they got dude. 666 money bro yeah they got fucking dirty money dirty dude. money bro yeah has yeah. weird shit been happening to them and weird shit been happening bro? yeah well they're all losers what do you mean what do they lose dude you gotta understand there's gandhi said this he said that something that will hurt you in life in the long term is money without work and that's what that is and that will hurt you because you'll be addicted to that mm-hmm. and you will not leave that job it's kind of why i've stayed there so uh, long yeah. i had a rule for myself that i wouldn't stay at a at a menial job which i would consider this menial because it doesn't really take anyone can really do it with a week of training yeah and i, I wouldn't want You're to a busser yeah i wouldn't want to stay well we're a table service assistant but it's basically a busser sure and, but we make money i mean i mean at one point i made more money than my brother and he's in the army you know what i mean like yeah. he's in the fucking what yeah. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, you're in a club with people that are fucking that might that might uh shoot a gun, right? So you you know, it's kind of the same sort of thing. You're kind oh. of in the in the in yeah. line of fire. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah, and I've and I've gotten like like handled and shit and like I had someone security guard choked me out, which we talked about with Nick Merlino. Yeah. But uh <laughs> I mean, dude, now it's not even fucking comparable, dude. My brother was in the in Afghanistan. I know. I'm kidding. I'm Yeah, I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm being a, I'm bro. being a, I'm being a rascal. You're being a little rascal. Yeah. That's the kind of yeah. comedy. That's the kind of comedy I bring to the table. Um, Rascal comedy. But I highly, recommend for, I highly recommend for you guys to maybe pursue that. Trying to do that. Trying to get free money because you guys are get. I don't know how much you make in Uber. No, no, no. But to understand what it is, because I understand what it is. I'm kind of. Remember when I said I punch you if you fucking fart in my? Did you say house? that? Yes. Yeah, I, I thought you were. You no, that that the, I thought that was the door opening, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. I thought, Let's just smell his butt and see. <laughs> I thought you were gonna hit me. You can smell if you want. I won't hit That's you. That's gross. You guys are up. disgusting. If you didn't have Jake as an older brother, I'd probably beat the shit out of you. But wow, Jake's wow. my younger brother. But <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, I'm totally kidding. I would, I would never hit you. Wow. If I listen back and that wasn't funny, I'll feel bad. Okay. Like, cause. I'm pretty sure that, that was really. That funny. was a great <laughs> fart. That was a great fart. But if it wasn't though, and, and you know, I'll I'll humbly I'll come back. I'll say, you know what, man, I, I really I really fucked up this time. Here's the air freshener. Yeah, and future, yeah. future. No, no, no. But no, I also <laughs> could feel that it was kind of a clean one. It was more all all bark, no bite. It, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that wink, dude. You chime me out of a bitch. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Yeah, we get a camera, Anthony. What were you talking about? We need to go get a job like yours. We're fine, dude. Yeah, I'm good, dude. I'm just saying I would recommend it. I'm not out here for the money, dude. I'm not here for the glory. You guys are fucking losers. <laughs> I don't want to go. And you guys are fucking liars. My no. wife keeps getting promotions, which decreases the amount that I have to work so Where that I can work pursue at? my dream. She uh, works at a soccer center. <laughs> and she's doing great. She's, uh, you know, if money was the goal, I wouldn't be here. Well, no, money right isn't now. the goal, but money is a means to an end for you to yeah, pursue your dreams. All I need is enough right now. My, there, uh, won't be, there will be a point where that's not true anymore. There's kind of a time frame where money is just a just a service of like the bare minimum. Like I just need. I'm just talking about not being stressed about money. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. You know what I mean? I hear that. But it's all time management, and then also freedom. With my schedule, dude, and the fact that I'm always on call for stand up, I uh, I can't be having a boss being like, "You gotta come in tonight, Nolan." Otherwise, you lose uh, your job. I can feel that for sure. That's so true. But I relate to where you're coming from because that part does suck. Yeah. Well, you're not, and it's also. I mean, it is a thing. Stand up, like you just got to be able to take whatever you can get. But we're we're, we're tangenting. Let's call it. Yeah, let's call it. I gotta go. I gotta I'm go having to, a great time. I gotta go to my shitty job in the yeah. morning. Gross. Where do you work at? I work for a <laughs> cannabis company. <laughs> a Mid what? city. A, can- a cannabis company. 
Oh, really? Yeah. You deliver weed? I don't deliver weed. No, I package it. That's yeah. tight. Yeah. Can I buy it from you? No. The tune wow. changed you could, quick, didn't you it, could, bro? You could go to any He's one got of a our dope fucking job. Our, yeah, our retailers around the uh, greater South Southern California area. Nineteen supplied by nineteen sixty four is the name of the company. Nice, dude. Good yeah. plug. Skateboarding it's, is all about uh there's no true winner, there's no true loser, there is no greatest, there is no worst. Well there might be a worst, but there's no greatest. Uh, the worst is sitting with us right now. But yeah, the no, greatest of all time does not exist. But that part, IMO, the greatest part of all time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my From God. From a subjective standpoint. If, I hope the camera angle got that bullshit because that <laughs> shit was hilarious. Just it your fucking facial comments. <laughs> <laughs> all oh right. I hope you guys enjoyed this experimental podcast of Part Breakdown slash Chit Chat. And, slash uh, um, trying to do jokes and shit. Yeah. So, yeah. You were trying. S- slash trying, trying to be funny. We're always trying. Ugh. You're just some funny Nothing dude. worse than trying. Patreon. And we did a lot of it. Right? Oh, yeah. Um. Well, yeah. Hit us up. Hit us up on S- Patreon. Subscribe in S- iTunes. Well, to give us money. Donate. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Why would we not? You know what I really, really want? Does that even, shit even work, Patreon? We, no, yeah. it works. Yeah, it works. Here's what I want yeah, more right. than anything. Well, if you like the podcast. It's like, a, it's like a subscription service. They donate like a dollar a month. They get something from us if you like the podcast what i would like more than anything get like a shout out on the air or something that's some bullshit but all right a dollar though subscription yeah or like an itunes subscription and a youtube subscription and then eventually if you feel like paying us you can give us some money on patreon.com do i need to be like i was thinking i was watching some elon musk videos i was like should i be the elon musk with this podcast (laughs) what does that mean I don't know. Should you? Yeah, I Should would I love to have an Elon Musk of of the podcast. If we, if that, I don't even like, know I what it means. Does that mean out? you're gonna shoot us to the moon? Yeah. No, I just mean like I'm just gonna be fucking making shit happen. Go but on. I don't know how down every everyone is for what for like getting after it, dude. I quit. Just just so you know, I've, this is always gonna be. It's been a it's a ten episode run, <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs> Remember the contract he signed at the beginning of this whole thing? It said 10 episodes, you fucker. I'm so sorry, bro. God, I don't read those things. How could you be so stupid? Yeah. Mine says know, mine says 3,000. So you're just, I'm going to be around for a while. So yeah, if you want to Chad Muska it or whatever you're talking about, Elon, Chad Muska, it, yeah. you feel free, bro. But I won't be here for You it. won't. It's a 10 episode contract. But in all seriousness, if you want to take us to Mars, metaphorically... I'm, I'm, I'd be the first monkey on that spaceship. I'm just thinking about it. What? I don't know. Where's Where's the Mars that you? I'll that be you... the third monkey. No, I just be like. That's how I this don't know. power struggle works. What, dude? What? <laughs> Quit pushing me out. Stop doing it. Quit <laughs> subtly it's, pushing me it, out. It's like it's kind of like when a girl likes likes a boy in elementary school, and he and, and he like <laughs> fuck you, dude. He like yeah. makes fun of Quit her and tails, like pulls bro. her hair. Yeah. Quit yanking my tails. You're giving her the old. You're giving him the old. What's, uh, oh what's my your God, Elon dude, Musk I punk idea? bitches like this all the time. A punk. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> at so, work, it, dude. At first, it was so. What is it? What's your Musk idea? No, I just mean like being next level. Not you know, next level, but understanding I, understanding the game that it is. I'm not sure that our game. listeners want to hear game? this. This the podcast shop talk. They don't want to hear us talk shop. No. Peace. Well, I, I still. Yeah, I think we should stop. This has been a Potaholics Comedy Network presentation. Potaholics.com.